What's up, guys? Today, I think one of the hardest things for me is to actually figure out the audio routing whenever I'm trying to use my mixer in Fruity Loops. So what I'm going to do today is kind of go through and show you this. Hopefully, we don't have to edit too much. But I'm going to be using a Soundcraft 22-channel uh, mixer. And I'm on a brand new project here. So what I want to do is be able to hear my sounds um, as they're coming in, and I want to be able to see them on the meters. But I still want to be able to hear the program itself. So I want to be able to hear both of them. So I'm using two channels for USB return. So hopefully this will all work out. So let's get right into this and uh, see if this makes any sense. So... Let's see, for insert one, for the master here. We good. Here we gotta select three, four. Each channel is gonna get its own thing. We'll fast forward through all this. See, so I got audio, but I can't hear it. So we're going to fix that. This is the sound of me affecting the track on channels one and two. Awesome, right? Now I can use the tools um, on every track. So we're going to go ahead make this three. seven tracks on the MPC going in. I'll show you in one second. Well, you have to take my word for it. But on the MPC itself, I'm just going to go and get my channel mixer. I'm going to hit route and then plug in one. I want to send to one or three and send this from the four because one and two are my audio USB return, right? So check this out. We will be able to hear both, one through the mixer. It's, it's messy, that's why I want to do this video. So whenever I'm using my mixer, it really doesn't matter if I turn up these levels or not. It's all about the gain on the top.
It's cool to be able to do this because now I have every one of my tracks, like I say, I can use some pretty decent tools. So if I mute all these through my mixer, or if I mute the audio USB return, now to here we have to use the faders on the mixer. This is what we got. We can beef them up here. You know what I mean? Dress them up however you want. But that's the sound going into each one of these tracks. Now, if I go without the return and I go here, it does nothing. So I have to mute out. the incoming tracks and hit my USB return. It's just weird how that works like that. But now, dope stuff. I just wanted to leave a note that even if you're in a studio for 20 minutes of nothing but failing over and over, um, you're still in the studio doing what you love doing so keep doing it keep failing keep doing what you need to do but i had one little breakthrough today and it's just changed the whole way i'm going to do everything so this is really dope and i want to share this with you guys all right so check it out guys what's up i'm Polly popo man i've had such a hard time setting up uh my mixer into my daw and everything and i've got a pretty good system so that's what i want to show you guys today so we're going to hook up the MPC, um, the eight outs of the back into a mixer, USB into the computer to a DAW, but I want to be able to hear the mixer and the USB at the same time. <laughs> Again, you got all your tracks. Make sure that each one of these goes to you just go here hit route and send each one out I got mine hardwired like I said to my mixer I just like it to be hardwired like that it's my personal preference and uh, yeah I just wanted to give you a good shot of that and then as far as the channels on my mixer these are my USB return Okay, unmute the USB return and unmute the mains. You can see they're going in the software, but you just can't hear them. These don't affect the software. See, the volumes don't change. It's just what we're hearing through the, so through the mixer. these to hear back and then these for audio playback. <laughs> I just can't get over that. Just a few more things that I want to add to uh, the video is that now that I have um, the MPC hooked up to it, you know, if, you're, if your channel mixer seems to be maxed out, like you're, these are all the way up and your gains all the way up you know you still got plenty of room on your NPC to normalize or use whatever you have to do to get that signal to get into Fruity Loops or whatever doll that you're using it's just really really cool to be able to do that like you can see you know what I mean like you got every, everything here's the USB now here's the This is coming straight out of the MPC hard wired into a mixer. I got the gain set about um I can't tell what a clock looks like. Uh, 
probably about one, two o'clock. And it, yeah, each. Each channel has its own track and all that. And like I say, the reason I like to do this is not only to be able to use these tools, each track scaffold, I'm not only use the parametric EQ, but I can actually take this here. And all I gotta do is hit record whenever I'm ready. Say I've got my whole song dressed up on my MPC in song mode in the different Everything's mixed the way that I want going in. I just want to hit it with the final touches. I just uh, play this as audio clip. Turn up my metronome. See some tracks are kind of low. track even if I wanted to but I just thought this was really cool that is how you get your audio into your doll you go to file up here or you go to options audio settings just is, make sure you select your USB mixer once you're out of your mixer find your mixer which can be crazy task in some DAWs um, and then assign each track to each one on your MPC or whatever it is. Make sure, or if you're just plugging guitars or vocals into this, whatever you're doing, just plug it in there. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Pretty straightforward. But to get that USB audio playback on my mixer was just crazy. So, like I said, I can turn all these down. weird how that works. Cool. Right on guys, I'm Polly Popo and uh, this was a crazy one and now that I got a pretty decent setup here, I think I'll just use this. Not that I don't like the MPC software, I just really, 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 really like these um, little parametric EQs. That's all. Right on. I'll help you guys later. I'm gonna get into some crazy stuff. Take it easy.